Hello everyone, this is Veteran Mountain Man again, and today I'm coming to you to discuss the linchpin between critical theory and Marxism that created the cultural Marxist movement. And I know for those of you who have been paying attention to the home team, you know what critical theory is. For those of you that haven't, a quick recap. Critical theory is the idea that all of society is wrong and therefore must be questioned. It is the basis of the modern social justice movement. It is the basis of modern feminism. It is even the basis of postmodernism, which has developed some of the analysis of things such as the gender as a social construct and many of these other things. Now, one of the things that created critical theory was Karl Marx's theory called conflict theory. And when you boil conflict theory down and ignore the way it's been applied to things such as the stock market and war zones and actually look at it as the way Karl Marx discussed it in the 1800s, you find that Conflict theory was the idea that the bourgeoisie, the minority, had to repress or oppress the majority, the proletariat, the, the workers, the producers, through means of social conformity. So things such as normality of job, the idea that you had a job, got married, had 2.5 children with a white picket fence and a car out in suburbia. This was a construct that the bourgeoisie created of success to force the proletariat into sl basically slavery of capitalism in order to get them to work for the bourgeoisie. Well, we know today that some of this is just bull. However, when you look at it from the perspective of conflict theory, that all of these concepts, religion as it currently is, society as it currently is, government as it currently is, the interactions and social norms and etiquettes that are currently espoused, if they are all a means of oppression, and oppression is to be questioned as critical theory talks about, all of this starts to realistically snap cleanly into place and explain how Marxism transitioned from not just concepts about an economic system that affected society into instead a societal push for the concepts of the collective proletariat freedom movement which has spawned the cultural Marx movement. And what many of these people who espouse these theories truly miss is that many of these societal structures that were created were created directly in, in response of collectivism managed by a central authoritarian figure. John Locke, in his uh, dissertation about governments, talks about the, uh, mono, the monarchic concepts being related back to the patriarchal figure of the father and the initial figure of man under Christian concepts, Adam. And when you look at most Marxism and most communism, they want to implement it based off of one man's ideal concepts under a collective management of a centralized authority figure and that right there is a either patriarchal or mat matriarchal authoritarian regime so the collective has to be managed and it has to be managed by a central figure so that everybody is treated the same well at this point you've just recreated what the entirety of the American Republic concept was designed to combat. That's what it was designed to stop. 
We didn't want a monarchy because we wanted the individual to be free, not the collective to be managed. So, I'm going to leave links below to a couple of definitions of conflict theory. They even cover some of the ways it's been used in modern interpretations. I am also going to leave a link below to a collected publishing of Karl Marx and Engels' work down below. They are free to use. They are in PDF, EPUB, and all sorts of other formats. So feel free to peruse, analyze, and deconstruct. If you're listening to me on Facebook, please like and subscribe if you like the content I'm producing. If you're following me at VidMe, please upvote and follow. Uh, if you want to help out, please come on over to patreon.com forward slash veteran mountain man. Become a patron. It's a dollar a month, people. If, and if you, if you become my patron, you'll get to interact with the cultural Marxist of the month award. If you decide to give more than five dollars a month, well, you'll get to do live stream sessions with me. Um, uh, also, if you want to interact and comment, please comment below. I will respond. If you don't want to do it here, but instead would like to do it on social media, you can find me at minds.com forward slash veteran mountain man, just as it's spelled here. Thank you all again and have yourselves a nice day.